Now we will solve a problem on average velocity and average speed. Problem statement. A car traveled 3 meters in north direction in 10 seconds and then turned east direction and traveled 4 meters in 20 seconds. What are the values of average velocity and average speed at the end of this journey? The first step in solving any problem in physics is to draw the situation mentioned in the problem. Step 1. Identify north, east, west, and south directions. Draw the measurements mentioned in the problem. Write down the equation for average velocity. Write down the known and unknown quantities. Total distance traveled equals 3 meters, plus 4 meters which equals 7 meters. Total time taken equals 10 seconds, plus 20 seconds which equals 30 seconds. Remember the concepts. Displacement is the shortest distance between initial and final positions of the path traveled. From the diagram, we see that A is the initial position and C is the final position of the car. And hence the shortest distance between initial position, A, and final position, C is the length of the line AC. From the Pythagoras theorem we get AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Hence AC equals square root of 3 square plus 4 square which equals square root of 25. Hence displacement AC is equal to 5 meters. Displacement is a vector quantity. Its direction is the direction of the vector AC, which is northeast. Putting the value of displacement in the formula of average velocity gives V average equals displacement divided by total time which equals 5 divided by 30, which equals 0.17 meters per second, approximately. Average velocity is a vector quantity. The direction of average velocity is the same as that of displacement, since time is a scalar quantity. Therefore average velocity equals 0.17 meters per second in northeast direction. We will now calculate the average speed of the car. Average speed is the ratio of the total distance traveled to the total time interval it took to make that move. Therefore average speed equals total distance traveled divided by total time. Total distance equals 3 meters plus 4 meters which equals 7 meters. Total time equals 10 seconds plus 20 seconds, which equals 30 seconds. Therefore average speed equals 7 divided by 30, which equals 0.23 meters per second, approximately. Since average speed is a scalar quantity it does not have any direction, unlike average velocity.